Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today video I'm I'm going to show how I create a segmented scalar plate using the pen plate uh, using the macro developed by me. And the plate will be exactly on the footprint of the bracing here. Both side here and then for another bracing here another the other side yeah so to do that I'm using this macro so I click the bracing here and set the brace the form so near insert plate will be the insert plate near the footprint of the bracing another one will be far side of the bracing or top insert plate another one here near the footprint will be bottom insert plate and the beam is near the footprint relative to the bracing then set the thickness here and set the material spec here then create yeah we just create it that's nice that's exactly on the footprint see from the time and you will see how it created turn off or turn on the wire wire frame and zoom so it plot exactly on the line on the footprint of the bracing this because the thickness of the member bracing and thick thickness of the uh, roll plate is different that you see the gap because this is looks exactly same but not because once the bracing reach the plane the thickness uh, the wall thickness will be slightly bigger so but actually it's not exactly follow the thick thickness of the row plate it just uh, it develop a, a bit thicker on the surface we check the we check the the wall thickness of the bracing so it's a 12 12.7 but our our roll plate thickness is 15 so that's why we see the gap So to do another side, just just click this one, another bracing, go to the main, change the bracing, then click again. Okay. Yeah. So now done. So how how I keep it in the hierarchy? Okay. So that is how I create my segmented circular plate using a macro developed by me. So anyone or any company to reach me or to request for any macro can send email to this. Okay everyone, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.